Welcome back to my Eastside Hockey Manager Save with the Minnesota Wild. We are currently in the year 2003, I think. Uh, I've gone too far, so I can't actually see what date it is in the top right-hand corner. Um, just uh, don't want to make this all about Rangers and everything, but playoffs have started. Rangers aren't in it. I'm fully embracing the benefits of tanking. And this... Oh, it's the wrong side because I'm looking at myself on the camera. This is a Ryan McDonough jersey. Quarter the price of a regular price. A bargain. Don't mind if I do. And I've got that over and done with. I uh, hope you're enjoying the wonderful time of season that it is with the playoffs. It's so good, man. I love it. I wish the Rangers were in it, but it's been good. This is what we have had happen since the last time you were with us. We lost our first game, obviously. And then we had a pretty good run up to this point. And then, a pr again, pretty good. We had a few spells in here of losses. Here is one of them. A three, and a loss, three losses in a row there. Mostly pretty good. There are three point-per-game players on our team. Who do you think they are? If you said Turgeon, Sanderson, and Yaga, you're wrong. Um, Yaramir Yaga, Jeff Sanderson, and Lee Stemniak, actually on the second line. Uh, been a point-per-game guy. He's got nine goals and ten assists. He was actually running a little bit higher than that, but I, he's just playing very, very well. Um, who's not playing particularly well is Koki Malone. Eight points and 19. Actually has picked up, but it took him a while. Took Berger on about seven or eight games to get a point as well, but he's now got six in 19. The good thing about him is he's not got a great average rating right now. He's not got a lot of points, but he's got a good plus minus, which makes me think it's going to be all right. It's all going to be okay. So I'm still excited about him, uh, hoping, hoping that he gets some very, very good growth. I have actually put him down to the third line because Tadeen kind of kicked on. And he's, he's dropped off again now, but still 13 points in 19 games, not too bad. As I said, Yaga has actually got 25 points. He was the top scorer in the league with 19 after 12, I think. Something like that. 25 in 19, so he's been 6 points in his last 7, I think. Which is, I mean, pretty good. But not point per game level over those last 6 games. But enough to stay well above that pace so far. What an absolute beast this dude's been. Look at the average rating. 8.63 so far. Uh, Sanderson an 8. Stemniak at 7.74. Hamilik killing it as well. So is Vizhnovsky. So is Turgeon. Turgeon only, only 17 points in 19 games. A travesty. Uh, I mean, everyone's doing pretty good, except Kutlak, who's in because Ryan Miller is in. Aaron Miller is injured, not Ryan Miller. Entirely different human being. Um, Halpin has not played at all, which he might do. But actually, Paulson's not playing that bad. And he's, he's improved a little bit. Maybe it's because he's on the fourth line, a little bit more sheltered. He's improved a little bit. So I'm okay with it. Uh, who's the second goalie? Talos has actually been all right as well, actually. Because Nabokov's not been great. We leave Nabokov then, I think. Today I'm going to be playing games against the Blue Jackets, who are much improved. Um, we Oh, they do have Gabrick back, so he may well play. He hasn't played at all yet this season, so if we get if we come up against him, that'll be the first time they've seen him. Uh, who's Martin Jelena? I don't know who that is. Who is he? He's all right. Pretty good. Uh, Brent Burns has played a lot of games for them and been pretty good, actually, straight out of the draft. He was the first overall pick. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was the first overall pick in the most recent draft. Anything else worth mentioning? Pecorino is now their starting goaltender, and or apparently he's their backup. And Vokun is their starter, which makes a lot of sense. Both been all right. Play them, and then we're going to play the Red Wings, which should be a slightly better test of where we are. They're just above us in the league. Uh, Blue Jackets are down here in 12th in our conference. Let's go to that first game. You saw the lines if you were paying attention. If not, you can skip back or whatever. I don't mind. Do what you like, mate. Or oh, I'll show you them here. Actually, just make sure I actually look at what they are. Sanderson, Tertian, Yaga. Standard first line. Stemniak, Sedin, Malone. Young Guns line. Actually performing pretty well. Blake, Bergeron, Klatt. Slightly more of a defensive line. Blake offers a bit more scoring there, but more defensive anyway. And Havoc, Paulson, and Glumak. Um, actually tempted a little bit to bring up Sean Avery and throw him on that third line as more of a defensive, just a full defensive line. Wouldn't get many points. Would that hurt Bergeron's development? 
Maybe, I'm not sure, but that's the lines we're going with. Defensively, basically the same as it has been before, but Miller is not in at the moment. We drop the puck on the first period. And let's see what's going on here then. I mean, a remarkable save from Vokun. They have thrown him back in. Have they thrown? Oh, what happened? Kvasha takes two minutes for hooking. Lovely. I'm actually going to check their tactics real quick. They have got Marion Gabryk on that first line, so he's back in for his first game of the season after a hip something or other. A hip something. They left Sanderson so open there, and he wasn't able to finish it off. We carry on, though, and Sanderson shoots from behind the net straight at Bokun's back, I think. And we've got this is a good power play so far. We actually are having shots, which is nice. And another shot there from the point. They do kill it. But I think there's like three or four shots on goal, which is kind of unusual for our power play. We often see the whole time just tick away without anything happening. That one just snuck past the post. And this has kind of been all right so far. I'm okay with this. What was that? Was that an icing? I thought he played it from inside our half. Apparently he didn't. Oh, my back. Oh, my neck. Um, I'm very achy now. Don't know if any of you are gym goers, but I, I go to the gym occasionally. If you ever see someone, you get competitive. Um, well, I just went and there was a five foot tall girl who was just much stronger than me and it was a bit embarrassing. So you've got to push yourself that bit harder, haven't you? Uh, Sanderson with another good chance, but isn't able to score. I don't know if he's playing well or badly here. It's tough to tell how the rating system is going to give it to him because he's not scored, but he's been in some pretty good positions. And do they reward him for that or take away his average rate, his rating for that? You know, say, oh, he hasn't scored, so he should have done. Therefore, he's been bad. Or I'm not sure how the rating system works. Vokun will be the man so far, though. Alleg David Leguan takes two minutes for cross-checking. He's one of their better players as well, actually. Neuendijk, also one of their better players. Apparently, v Vokun is, though, also very, very, very good. Come on, boys. Let's, let's just get this... Just go in here. Yeah, he's been their man so far. So far. So far. Apparently they've had nine shots, and I don't remember seeing any of them. They're playing sevens across the board. Diago's playing an eight. Turgeon's playing a six. And Sanderson's playing a seven. Yeah, okay. Well, let's not panic. Let's carry on as we are. There's no need to panic. It's a regular season game. Um, you've seen the Blue Jackets and the Red Wings again, by the way. You've probably seen both of them. 100 times each uh, if you want to see a different team let me know and I'll show you I can show you who is on their team and give you a little rundown of who they've got at this point and show you the game against them because basically I'm just trying to remember who I've shown you games against and who I haven't shown you games against and it's quite difficult to remember and also it's, it's you know I'm just Rubbish at remembering. There aren't that many team, different teams I can show you. We have scored. I'm not paying attention. Sanderson scored. Okay, that, that's good. I think Kutlak got an assist there. Oh, he's on the power play. Goodness me. Why is he on the power play for? Shouldn't be. But apparently they sent him out there for no apparent reason. Uh, yeah, there are only, there are obviously 29 other teams to choose from for who I can show you each time. And we're in a conference where we play many more of those teams more often. So I'm kind of trying to show you non-division games, but the division ones that are, are more important. So I don't really know which to show you. So if you have a preference, let me know and I'll do that. I'll figure out a way to show you your favorite team or a team that you particularly want to see or, or a particular player. Nabokov makes a nice save there. They're still on the power play though. Let's clear that puck out. Nope, that was not ideal. Nabokov saves us though, because whoever someone just threw him under the bus a little bit. And he's forced to make the save, and he does. Good man, Nabokov, playing well so far. Second period's ticked away pretty quick, slash I was talking garbage for the whole time, so... <sighs> it's right in front, right in the crease, that shot there, and then no one closed him down for the rebound. And you almost scored off it. Third period, though, we go in one up. We're in a pretty quiet game in terms of goals so far. Well, very quiet game in terms of goals so far. Just a one. Now I say that, and uh, Neuendijk scores. From Axelson and Numelin, was it? I think might have been might have been our guy previously. Uh, I'm actually still in frame. I am a little bit. Anyway, I'm in frame even if I shake my head like this. See? It's good, isn't it? Um, 
This is the benefits of this new camera. I can actually check where I am on the screen. Okay, there you are, it's the puck. 16 minutes left in the third period. I don't really want to lose to this lot. And there you go. Missed a point per game. Lee Stempniak scores oh, for his 20th goal of the season. I was like, this is the 20th game. I'm pretty sure that's not true. But 20 points in 20 games. Delighted with him. I know he was a, a fairly prolific point scorer in his early years. That's a terrible giveaway. And uh, Jelena scores from Fritz Gerald and a really bad, really bad giveaway in there. Yeah, I know Stempniak was a fairly prominent scorer early on and a pretty potent but I'm impressed with him considering he's only what he's 19 at this point I don't know Fitzgerald takes two minutes for hooking after his assist and we have seven minutes left in this third period can we see the game out I hope so I don't even though I know they are better now I still don't want to be losing to this lot because I just I, I've now got it in my head that they're terrible and I know that they were also an expansion team on this on this at the same time, really. At the same time as the Wild in real life, right? Or Yeah, something like that. So I know that they're a team that we're kind of direct rivals with in that sense. It hasn't really developed into a rivalry, other than the first season where it was a rivalry for tanking. And then uh, we, we got bottom and we won that one. But we won. And then, uh, having said that, I was about to say they won because they got a better pick, but I'm just remembering that they actually took Patrick Steffen. So we definitely beat them. The problem is that Daniel Sedin is like the third top scorer in the league on the Jets, and I can't really work out what I've done wrong in building up Sedin. I, maybe the training has more of an impact than I thought. He's okay, Sedin. He's going to be sort of maybe a point every other game kind of guy. It's just his brother's much better than him, basically, and it's annoying that I picked the wrong one. Or it appeared that I picked the wrong one. A good chance for Sanderson from Yaga, who plays the puck right across the crease, and Yaga now with the puck again. And Yaga gets his point, and Turgeon gets another one. Sanderson gets another goal. Don't know how many points Turgeon's got here, but if he's got three, he'll be, he'll be a point per game player as well, and we'll have four, which is very, very succulent if that's the case. Four point per game players on a team is really nice to spread the scoring over two lines like we haven't really been able to do as effectively before is really nice. I didn't even clock, to be honest with you, but that was 2-2. Two, two. I'm so blabbering on, I thought we were winning 3-2. And then, and that, that at the end I was thinking, oh, we've got to do is hold on. And I didn't say it, which is good. I shouldn't have said anything. But we won 3-2, which is nice. Sanderson with two goals, Turgeon with three assists. Now we a point per game guy. Yaga there with a goal, with an assist, uh, plays a 10 with one assist, which is madness. Stemniak with his goal, very nice. And Koki Malone and Sadin didn't get any, which is a bit annoying, but not too bad from our guys. And Gabarik did not get a point, so that's good. That's nice. I like that. That was an all right game. And let me show you that. I'm pretty sure that Sanderson, 22 and 18. Oh. Oh, I've clicked on him again by accident. Terzian, 20 and 20. Very, very nice. Yaga, 26 and 20. And Stemniak, 20 and 20. So, look at that. 10 goals, 10 assists, 20 points, 20 games. Very, very nice from him. I will bring you in in a second for the Red Wings game. The Red Wings, who just lost to the Kings. So, we actually overtake them. But they have played two less games than us. But having said that, Oh, they're actually six points behind. Hang on. The reason they're ahead of us, they were ahead of us, is because their division's terrible. This happened last year, didn't it? I can't actually remember which division we're in. Not the central. They're the central. So the Blue Jackets, Predators, and Wings are not great. Hang on. So it's us and the Avalanche sort of battling for first in our division, which is about standard. The issue here is we could drop down into fourth, but I don't know if that makes a difference. Hang on. Kings and the Mighty Ducks up there on that side. On our on our side, yeah. See, look. See the um. It's only the top team in the division that's guaranteed a spot in the playoffs. It seems. Well, there you go. We're playing top of one division against top of the other. So that's a nice one. Do I even take you out of this? Yeah, I do. I I'm gonna cut into the next game because I I keep getting really scared that the 
thing's going to lose. And football manager's been playing me up really badly at the moment. Which is why I love Eastside Hockey Manager, because even though it's not as in-depth as football manager in some ways, it doesn't take as much data on your computer. It doesn't crash it all the time. So that's really nice. I'll see you in a second. Well, here you go. Um, I said that Pierre Turgeon had really picked his game up, and he actually won the player and the, and the offensive player of the week. One goal, five assists in two games. So he obviously got a goal and two assists in the game before. We're going with the exact same lines against the Red Wings. We actually dropped down into second in our division and therefore fourth in the in the conference because the Avalanche lost in OT or shootout or whatever. I don't know. They lost, but it wasn't straight up. Saku Koivu, Pavel Datsyuk. How's Pavel Datsyuk progressed unbelievably well in terms of technicals? He's just very disappointing in these terms. Um, not very quick, not particularly mentally good, good flair, which basically a maniac in terms of he just comes up with random stuff. And he does all those things really well, but he just isn't, he's not that good in a lot of these ways. It's, it's going to hold him back for sure. Uh, I mean, 58 points is pretty good. Maybe if that's what if that's what he's going to produce, that's what he's going to produce, you know. So, uh, Koivu, I wanted to get Koivu. I almost got him for a third round pick, and he looks good, doesn't he? Yeah, he's over a point per game this year. That would have been really nice to get him. Oh, and they've got I saw Burray and panicked, but it's not that Burray. It's his brother. It's uh, I can't remember his name. Valeri Burray. Burray can't say it properly. Apparently, let's go, boys. First period, and they immediately start on the attack. But Malone. Koki Malone just takes two minutes for hooking. Like a madman. Right. See how the PK holds up. It looks like they are all up in our grill. Someone chasing around but isn't done doing enough. 30 seconds left though. We've killed most of it. And we might be able to kill the rest. And we do with Nabokov holding onto the puck. Freezing that bad boy. And that comes out of play here. The right side of the neutral zone. Come on, boys. And Clat takes two minutes for roughing, and we are having some discipline issues early on in the game. That's not very good. Osgood still in goal for them. Lidstrom is obviously their man. Caballet, I think, is the man that we had last year, in fact. Is that? Caballet. Yeah, it is. Um, what did they get him for? Five points, seven point zero eight, not bad. He only played, he's already played more games than he did last year. They got him on a pretty good deal, actually. We he wanted to like a million, one point two million for signing for us, something like that. So he was on one point six before, and everyone was like, "He's well overpaid, mate." So we we thought we'd get rid of him. Like we couldn't even trade him. He was it said he was like so overpaid we couldn't even trade them. So that, I just didn't want to keep him on. We have got um, keep in mind for the trade deadline. This is. We have actually got 7.2 million of cap space to use at the deadline if we need it. So I might actually go out and try and get some, some beastly rentals. We're on the PK again, and this has been a long first period, just kind of defending, which is a bit irritating. We want to be out there making moves and delayed offside. That's good. Just don't fire the puck in there unless you really have to. Was it not a shot from the neutral zone? Very bizarre. Second period, that was a slightly annoying first period, actually. Just keeping taking penalties. Not really threatening. That suit takes two minutes for hooking up. Let's say we've taken another bloody penalty, but actually it was them. So let's see how potent this power play can be in this game. It was not too bad in the last one. Created some good chances at the very least. And there you go. Sanderson, Yaga, Turgeon. The point per game, lads. They need now. We need Stepniak, Stepniak, to pop up with a nice point. To pop up, I can't stop saying words. As soon as I say something and I find it entertaining, I have to repeat it. That was that looked like an absolute sitter of a chance there. Here comes this second line: Stepniak, Sedin, Malone. So let's get them some more points on the board. They've gone off. They're back on though. Good stuff. They're back on. Get the puck to Stepniak. And there you go, he gets a point as a secondary assist, and it looked like probably wasn't really much. 
Sedin gets the goal though, very nice. Stempniak maintains a point per game pace. We're two nothing up. This will jump us to top of our division, second in the conference, I think, which is pretty good. The Mighty Ducks are currently top. They will be at least one point ahead of us, depending on the results in the last couple of games. They were on 30 and we were on 27. So here you go. Let's kick on with this one, though. This would be nice to get a good win. A confidence builder, this would be. Um, but I think I think the issue here is that our division is pretty good. And there's his garbage. Stempniak with another goal. Well, a first goal of the game. And Sedin was that with another point. Sedin got some points. I don't understand. This doesn't make sense in my head. What is going on? Stempniak, though, above a point per game pace now. Beautiful. 22 in 21. So happy with that. And that was not a particularly early pick. Hlavik. Glumak and Rafalski combined there, and that's pretty good as well because Glumak's just the fourth line right winger, kind of there for a bit of depth, very like a fairly late draft pick. Very, very nice. A 4 nothing lead, and the game's probably going to be done. So I might even go more attacking and try and just, just spank in as many goals as possible. Is that a good idea or is that a terrible idea? Probably terrible. Well, now it's four minutes left, I'm going to do it anyway because I don't really care about goal differential or anything like that. I'd rather just have some goal scoring if we can get points for Stempniak points for Sedin bit of a confidence but we're not going to get any it's literally just that's it it's happened waste of time don't know what I'm about mate Elastic takes two minutes for cross checking sweet name six seconds left that's going to be the end of the game and it is and Stempniak with a goal and an assist Yaga with one assist Sedin with two points a goal and an assist Lavak with the same. A shutout for Nabokov, star of the game. Far outperforming Osgood. All these guys in the centre did not do particularly well. And we did well there, actually, to see the game out when we had bad discipline in the first period. We didn't have too bad a discipline after that. We only took three penalties in the whole game. Not too bad at all. And Stepniak is my boy now. He might, have, he might be usurping Koki Malone, but I, I don't want to speak too soon. But yeah, look at this man. Where do we pick him? 15th overall in 2001, and he's only 20. I mean, his attributes are a bit weird, because he's got some really crap ones. Like poke check, hitting and face-offs. I mean, Deking's the one that's quite surprisingly low, and his slap shot's terrible. So is his stick handling. Stick handling and Deking you'd think would be higher. For this sort of skill, quick player i'm hoping that these grow and the ones that are low grow which is i don't really know why they haven't he should be good he should be growing and it doesn't look like he's grown much but he's still contributing at a good level what did he get last year 35 points in 78 so a point nearly a point every other game but not really that near but yeah um He's already got a bonus to 29,000 for five power play goals. So there you go. He's been very, very potent on the power play. There you go. Let's have a look where we stand in the standings. We are second in the conference. We're three points behind the Mighty Ducks, who have played two games less. We're eight points ahead of the Red Wings, who have played two games left. But we did just beat them. We've won four in a row. That's nice. We are level on points with the Kings, two points ahead of the Avalanche. We're in a good spot. What are we in risk of dropping out? 20 points. We're probably going to be fine for a playoff spot. We've already got a nine-point gap after 21 games. So I'm pretty confident there. We've played 21. So I reckon that's you know a quarter of the season, right? So let's bring us in after 40-odd, 40, 40 right? So that's where's that probably going to be like... Oof, can't do maths or estimations. So that's, uh, that's about two-thirds. Two that's about... Another quarter in, right? So let's say around here. If there's any, I mean, I don't know, I think I showed you Car Car uh, Carolina yet. So maybe them. Who have I not shown? Uh, the Leafs, I think I have. The Canadians. Have I shown the Canadians? I don't remember, to be honest with you. Mark Recchi. Riesbois. I don't remember showing you them, but they might be because they're garbage. Mike Ribeiro's in there. That's interesting. Not that good as he really at this point. Uh, I just don't remember who I've shown you. So if you want to see anyone in particular, let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably 
probably jump in for Carolina, thinking I haven't seen them yet. But I might be wrong on that. Why do I think I am? Ryan gets laugh. Well, oh, Hank. That'd be nice. Just to see Hank play. He's their starter, apparently. He's played 16 games. Cloutier has played six. Playing very well as well, actually. So is Hank, though. He's playing pretty good. Maybe I'll show you Carolina then, yeah, just so I can show you Hank. And the beauty of this, these rosters is that every year recognisable players are coming out of the draft and, and kind of breaking in pretty quickly into the teams. So you're going to get some fresh faces on whichever team we're playing. So that's where I'm going to end that. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.